So, in this diagram, now in this parallelogram, so here 112 is given, then here z is given, then here this angle is given 40 degree. Now, here two angles are there because here one diagonal is there, here is one diagonal. So, here we getting two diagonals, sorry, two angles here. So, one angle is z, another angle here 40 degree and this is y and here is x. So, here we should find x value, y value and z value. Now, we know that uh, in a parallelogram opposite angles are equal opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. So, y is equal to 112 degree opposite angles of angles in a parallelogram opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So, when y is equal to 112 then this angle that is 40 degree then we can find x by adding all the three interior angles of this triangle is equal to 180 degree. So, this here how to take here x plus y plus 40 degree is equal to 180 degree. That means here sum of sum of three interior angles sum of three interior sum of three interior angles of a triangle angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree is equal to 180 degree is equal to 180 degree so, now y value we got here 112. So, x plus 112 plus 40 degree is equal to 180 degree. Now, what we should do first we should add here 2 plus 0 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, then 1 plus x is equal to 180 degree. Then we have to subtract here 152 you should take to RH side. So, it become 180 degree minus 152 degree. 180 degree minus 152. Okay. So, here is 0. 1 you take from this side. So, it becomes 7. Here is 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. Then 7 minus 5 2 remainder. Then here is 0. That means here yeah, x is equal to x is equal to 180 degree minus 152 degree. So, this is equal to 28 degree. So, x value we got here. Then we can find the z by using alternate angles are equal. So, here you know that in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel. So, these two lines are parallel to each other. So, here is a diagonal, diagonal this is a diagonal, then it is like a transversal line, it is like a transversal line, then you see x and z, these two angles are said to be alternate angles. So, alternate angles are equal, so here we can take here x is equal to z is equal to 28 degree. That means here why these two are equal? Alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are equal. Alternate angles are equal. Okay. So, now you see x is equal to 28 degree and y is equal to 112 degree. Then z is equal to 28 degree. So, we got all the three unknowns value.